Hey. Hey there. It is so, 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 so good to be with you again. Hello, hello. It's such a beautiful day. Today is November 7, 2021. I am Brittany Monique Allen, and I am here to bring you some encouragement and some love. Today's message is all about love. Like, oh, it's going to be a great message because all the love is a word that we say um, often. We throw it out there. It's a very powerful word. It's a very powerful thing. And it's something to talk about, you know, love for your, your family, love for your lover, love for your animal, my gear bear, um, love for life. Just love is such a powerful thing. It's actually a supernatural thing. And it's something that um, causes you to move. It causes you to do something. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, bless this message of love. May the viewers, the listeners feel love coming to them through the radio waves, through the, uh, the, the video, through the sound waves, Lord. I just thank you for your love that flows so freely in Jesus name. Amen. So today y'all, we are going to be talking about love and I'm going to be coming from scripture. Um, John 15 verses nine to 17. So I'm just going to read these verses really quick. And then I will talk to you about my three points about love. So here it is. Okay. As the father as the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. Abide in my love, okay? So as the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. So you're supposed to stay in love, okay? This is how you live, okay? If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. All right. Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I've commanded you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I heard from my father I have made known to you. And I actually got the Bible up, y'all. <laughs> you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you. These things I command you that you love one another. These things that I, these things I command you that you love one another. So today is all about love, right? Some people here are believers, some are not believers, but the word in the essence and the thing called love is for everybody. As Cat Williams would say, everybody. <laughs> I don't know if y'all follow the comedian Cat Williams. Everybody. But um, he's pretty fabulous. Um, so anyway, love is for everybody. I don't care if you are Buddhist or whatever you are. It doesn't matter. And I, Buddhists, I think they talk about love quite a bit, actually. Um, those who follow Buddha and all of that and... I don't know the ins and outs, but love is universal. Love is for everybody. Every single person, love is for them, okay? So that's why this message is important. Yes, we as believers, we as Christians talk about love because love is very, very, very important to our faith. Um, but most faith believe in love, okay? Most faith do. Even um, people who are like super into some crazy stuff, they, they I guess, put their affections hardcore on something negative, but they believe in love. Most people do. I'm sure they're outliers, okay? But today is all about love. So, what I want to say 
is that love does three things. Now, love does way more than just three things. But I'm highlighting three things that love that was highlighted to me recently by um, some events. And um, I'm just going to kind of share three points about love and how, how I see it. So, love gives, love heals, and love forgives, okay? So, I want to say it in a different order. Love gives, love forgives, okay? And love heals. And when I say forgives, I mean releasing people, releasing yourself, releasing others, moving forward, um, and really letting people be free and not holding them hostage because they did something wrong, even if they were totally wrong, like letting them free and, and just allowing whatever needs to happen to them will happen. Okay. You don't have to try to create their, you know, consequences for what they did to you, because if something needs to go down and happen, it'll happen. Life itself will work whatever it needs to work out for you. Shout out to mom who made these earrings. And also, real quick, shout out to myself. Hallelujah. I was able to interlock my hair. As you see, I got a new do. Um, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> but let's get back to the points, okay? So, love gives. So, my example that I want to share, my short story is I want to share that my neighbor, my neighbor came over to help me See about my dog I'm actually looking at him right now and checking on him because he um, I believe was bit by an insect maybe an ant or something and he's been like limping and just kind of out of it um, he's doing well I believe he's okay my little gear bear but my neighbor came over when she saw I was like girl can you come can you please come and see about me so, um, she was coming, but before she got here, um, a repairman was here at my home, uh, just putting some paint. He made patched up the side of the wall and just putting some paint on. But before he could even get started, I asked him to look at my dog, like, what do you think? And I'm speaking my little Espanol, my Spanish, and asking him. So, as he's looking at Gary's leg and trying to tell me what he thinks, you know, he's saying, oh, I don't think it's this, I don't think it's that. You know, I started breaking down and crying about my baby. I ain't know it was going to hit me like that, y'all. <laughs> but I love my little dog. So, I was kind of like, what's going on with my baby? I was having a total moment, okay? And my this guy, he's, you know, just there to paint the house. Put a little paint on this he didn't know he was getting it, you know, into all of this extra. And so I start crying. I'm crying. I'm acting like everything's fine, but I'm just crying as he's like looking at Gary. And um, it was just so cute. But as far as my neighbor, she came over after, you know, he went ahead and left me with Gary. And I told him I'll, I'll be fine. And, and she came over to check on Gary too. So love gives. The man who was painting the house. And my neighbor, they would not have done that if they didn't have love in their heart to check on me, check on my dog. Love gives, okay? And that was my example that I want to share. Like, whether it's giving your time, giving money, get, love is an action word, okay? If, if you love somebody, it's going to be evident. So, love forgives. So, the reason Gary means so much to me is because last year I went through a series of traumatic events. Even up until this year, some traumatic events, crazy things happening. And Gary came into my life. He was actually in my life, but he was my old roommate's dog. And he became my dog after a series of traumatic events. And... Yeah, and, and during a traumatic season uh, uh, in my life. And Gary has been like my little support, my little emotional support animal, my little furry hero, okay? Like, yes, my little baby. So I didn't know it was going to hit me like that, but it totally hit me because um, he, he, he was just there during some difficult times and he's still here with me hanging out. And so, love forgives. So, 
I'm, I'm kind of mentioning that story as far as all the traumatic stuff is because my ex-boyfriend was involved in, in causing some of the traumatic events, not all of them, um, but he was a part of some of it. And I had to forgive him. And so um, he might even be watching this. I wouldn't be surprised because, yeah, hmm. I forgive you, right? I forgive him. Um, am I trying to have a relationship with him? No. But I do forgive him and I hope he's well. I hope you're well if you're watching. And, you know, like, go, go and do great things. Be great. You know what I mean? Like, love forgives. Um, so, I want to say love heals. That's the last thing. Love heals. When you show love to someone, when they were showing love to me, it started to help me to feel better. As I was showing love, and I'm still showing much love to my baby as a check on him, you know, um, not constantly, but, you know, I check on him, got to. <laughs> not obsessed with my boo-boo, but, um, <laughs> oh gosh, but it heals those people, my neighbor, the repairman, I like, that brought healing and helped me to calm down. My neighbor, she was like, you know what, I think he's okay, do this, do that, and he should be fine. I can tell he's good because of this, because of that. I'm telling you, I was thrown to become, I was thrown into becoming a, a, a dog mommy uh, last year. Late last year, December of last year, I was thrown into it because my little sweet baby, he just, he came at, like I said, he came right on time after some crazy stuff. And I'm going to tell y'all about that, those crazy events. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all about them because, whew, it, it's quite a testimony that I have. And I'm so thankful for it. Um, so, as I wrap this up, love.